Hello everybody, welcome back to CNS Corvettes. It's your Corvette buddy Lyle, here to talk to you about more interesting, exciting, and hopefully informative and helpful Corvette stuff. Before we get started today, I do have today's trivia question for you. In what year did Corvette have a seven inch wheel? Not six, not eight, and there was only one year they did it. What year was it? Put it in the comments below. Now, let's take a moment and watch this real quick. Guys, we've got another exciting sweepstakes that's new for the beginning of 2024. Uh, this one is for a 2024 Corvette Z06 convertible with the Z07 performance package. Uh, the car is done in the beautiful red mist metallic tint coat. Uh, this thing is just gorgeous. Uh, and it is being offered by the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix Association. Now that may sound like it's a racetrack or something or a museum, but it's not. It's actually a charitable, and you can read about it down here, actually a charity that uh, wants to produce a world-class vintage automotive event to raise funds to help provide residential care, treatment, and support for autistic and intellectually developmentally disabled individuals. So what they do is they take your your contributions and they put on this big event and then they're able to take the proceeds from that event that everybody does for free to help the charity and put it toward the charity so pretty worthy thing to put money toward uh and if you're using if you're going through our link here uh, pinned in the top comments below uh you're actually getting 30 percent more entries for free so if i say you're going to do fifty dollars right here you click on that you'll see that our promo code cns has already entered up here and you're getting 12 extra tickets on top of the 40 that you're the 40 entries you're paying for and you'll just put in your name and your information or credit card and stuff and then you are automatically entered and this drawing will be taking place on october 8th 2024 so if by chance you're watching this video after that date come back to a more recent video and you can get on one of the current sweepstakes at that time but this is a really amazing amazing car uh, for a really amazing cause. If you guys want to participate, I wish you the best of luck. And if you guys win it, I certainly expect to hear all about it. Thanks. Okay, guys, so we are back from the big 2024 NCRS winter meet over at the American Muscle Car Museum in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, got to meet a lot of nice people out there, saw several of you out there who came to see us. Thank you for coming. And uh, I've got some great video footage of what's in the museum and the show and the grounds and all that stuff. We're going to be compiling that over the next couple of weeks. And I'll be able to put out a couple of different videos featuring some of that stuff. So that was forthcoming. Um, and if you ever want to visit the American Muscle Car Museum, it is only open for charitable events, but those events are listed on their website, which is AmericanMuscleCarMuseum.com. Definitely worth it if you're ever going to be in the area, or if you want to make a point of being there, just make sure it's going to be open for a charitable event. That's the only way you can get in. All right, on to today's subject. My son and I sat down last week and had about an hour and a half long a uh, conversation debate argument about whether a Corvette is a supercar or not. Now let's define what levels of cars we were talking about. So we have sports cars, uh, Mustang GT, uh, Camaro SS, uh, you know, a, a base model Corvette is a sports car, right? They, 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 they're, they're faster and they handle better and they're usually a little more expensive than other run-of-the-mill cars, usually two seats, uh, you know, th that kind of thing. But they have some sporting capability. The next level up is the super sports cars. A super sports car is a sports car with considerably more power, better brakes, uh, more track credibility, uh, things like the C6Z06. I would call a super sports car. Definitely the C7Z06 would be a super sports car. Um, things like the Porsche 911 GT3, uh, some of the other really, really competent cars that are quite at home on the track at full go or driving to get groceries at Publix. And that's, that's kind of in the middle ground. And then you have the supercars. Supercars are above even those cars. And let's talk about what defines a supercar, at least in our conversation that we had. There are basically three things that affect whether a car is super, falls into that category or not. And that is exclusivity. Uh, if it's something not everybody can have, uh, both due to price and or manufacturer availability, uh, a lot of supercars, like if from Ferrari or from 
Porsche, you have to own like half a dozen or more of their other product in order to be allowed to be on the list to maybe buy one of those cars. So that's definitely exclusive. Even if you have the money to go buy one right now, you're not allowed to unless you're kind of in the club. Uh, performance obviously is a huge issue when it comes to supercars. They have to outperform even the super sports cars. Uh, so things that are not only extremely fast, but cars that have held lap records at tracks uh, like Road Atlanta, or Sebring, or Nurburgring, or things like that. That's really where the supercar, that's that level of car. Uh, the other thing, obviously, that defines supercars is their design. Uh, a supercar rarely looks like anything else on the road. It's something that from 200 yards away, if you know what those cars, you go, ooh, there's one. And even if you don't know what that car is, you look at it and go, my God, I don't know what that is, but that's amazing. That's a supercar. So, is a Corvette a supercar? I think some were. I think some were. Uh, I think that for its time, the C4 ZR1 was a supercar. They didn't make a boatload of them. They were double the price of a regular Corvette. They had an exotic engine designed by Lotus and built by Mercury Marine. They had custom bodywork that couldn't be found on the other Corvettes <clears throat> until roughly 1991. And for the time, they were the American supercar. Uh, but as far as more modern stuff, I would say, realistically, if you're talking about what Corvettes in the 2000 and up era would be supercars, I would say the C7 ZR1, uh, just because they made, again, very limited production, they were very expensive, they had a boatload of power, they were immediately recognizable, and they have certainly gone up in value since the time that they came out. So definitely a supercar there. And obviously I think the C8 Z06 is a supercar. Um, clearly it has a ton of power, its design is amazing, it handles great, uh, it is going to have lap records at tracks if it doesn't already, and the most powerful naturally aspirated engine ever put in a car. So the C8 Z06 is definitely a supercar. Now, the next iteration of Corvette that comes out, be it what they call the Zora or the ZR1, that'll probably be a supercar too, just because it's gonna have all those same things. High price, super power, great track availability, Unique body, unique body performance and uh, appearance. I, in my opinion, those cars are all supercars. Uh, the, only, the only variable with supercar really is age. Um, certain cars remain iconic supercars long after their performance abilities have been eclipsed by things like the Honda Civic Type R. Good example of that is the, the Lamborghini Countach, uh, the Ferrari Testarossa, uh, and the C4 ZR1, as I said, those are still considered supercars, even though they don't, they don't attain the level that would be required today, they are still iconic supercars. So, the key here is, I want to hear your opinion. What do you think about this? What is a supercar to you? What are some examples of a supercar? And if the cars I named you don't think are supercars, tell me why. Let's discuss it below. I will be involved in the comments today and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Oh, we forgot the trivia. Only year Corvette had a seven inch wheel, 1968. If that's the answer you got in the comments below, well done. Thank you.